25th series with the naughtiest man on television in charge. Yes, Keith Lemon returns alongside Emily Atak plus Laura Whitmore and regular guest panellist Maya Drummer. And Keith joins us now here to create chaos, apparently. <laughs> Keith, over to you. Create some chaos I... <laughs> now. Do you know what? I hate it when people say create chaos because I'm sat in my office with Baby Yoda here <laughs> and, and Chucky down there. I can't create chaos at home. <laughs> but anyway, if I want to get rid of my dog, what do I do? It's kept me up all night barking. Do I send it to that guy? <laughs> yes, exactly. You can send it to you can send it to our, 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 our environmentalist from earlier. Absolutely. I'll get Box and draw a dog on it and take that for a walk. <laughs> Is it? I mean, honestly, Keith, you know, with everything that's going on right now, we've had more response to that row about pet ownership than we have to pretty much anything else. People consider their pets one of the family. Your pet is, wouldn't it? It's your baby, isn't it? It's your yeah. furry baby. That's what it is. Keith, how can tell you... you... Tell yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't like to be Boris Johnson right now. Ooh. Ooh. Jonesy, what did you grasp me up for? <laughs> oh, man, what a job. He should have said, no, I don't want to be Prime Minister, shouldn't I? Don't name Terrible your sources, job. Keith. Don't name your sources. I'd, I'd rather be me right now. Just yep. saying irrelevant things on a Thursday night at 10 o'clock on ITV2 for a bit of fun. Well, you do it brilliantly. I cannot understand, Keith, how you can have Chucky the doll in the, in your house. That's a little bit yeah, sinister. I find Chucky scary. It just looks like a, a broken cabbage patch kid with scars. No, it's worse than that. I'm not scared that. of clowns either when everyone's scared of Pennywise from the film It. It's just a clown. Clown brings joy, doesn't it? Not, uh, <laughs> not that clown. Does the does the sort of energy of Yoda cancel out the energy of of the of Chucky? Yeah, I, I just I just rub his head for good luck. Look at his look, look at his little hairs. <laughs> his hairs. Oh, his hairs. Uh, look, look, so, so, celeb juice. I mean, this show's been going 25 series. Incredible. I mean, and you get away with. I mean, I don't know. I I write fictional comedy, and I don't think I'd get away with some of the stuff Why that you. you... Come on next series. You have been on. Uh, Susan, uh, on, but you have. I know I haven't. Well, I've been on far too much. I'm it's time for you to. I'm kind of scared of going on. But I mean, question to you is, how do you get away with it when you sit with your producers and you say, well, we're gonna we're gonna get Susanna Reid on. She's gonna do this. We're gonna get Richard Arnold on, and he's gonna. I mean. How do you even get away with it? How do you, like, you convince producers that in these times, yep, this is all right, we can do this? I yeah. mean, people love it, but how do you get away with Richard it? Richard Arnold was on. We had him carrying beer cans. Um, what can I, this time I'm on, what can I say? He was carrying them with um, the here. Oh, there he is. There he is. I mean, that's fairly mild compared... Troops. That's <laughs> mild? There's nothing mild about that at 24 what? minutes past eight in the morning. <laughs> oh, there's some of the stuff that I've seen happen on that show compared to that. I mean, you know. I went to Mexico with Richard Arnold and I was in the pool and he came behind me and he hugged me. He said, can you feel that? I went, feel... Oh, I said, all I can feel is your long nipples. He's got nipples like boot laces. He's got the longest nipples on any human I've ever seen. You see, now you've... <laughs> <laughs> now, now you I apologise for saying nipples. I don't know what you should apologise for, Keith. I've, I've well, lost I count. I don't know what the science word is for nipples. <laughs> <laughs> so tell, tell us who, who who's going to be on this new on the on the new series. Which guests have you got lined up? Well, this Thursday, I've got, I can't remember who's on because I was a bit <laughs> drunk. We've got Howard <laughs> Donald, Harvey, Rebecca Vardy, Maya Jammer, Emily, and Laura. Oh, and how's Laura getting on? She's a superwoman, you know, she had two weeks off to have a baby and then she came straight back into it and brings a baby with her all the time. Oh, does she? Uh, yeah. And, and Ian comes in as well and sits there with the baby oh. whilst I throw junk on his wife. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's one way to juggle the, the childcare, definitely. Yeah. And, and yeah. you just mentioned that you can't remember who's on it because you're a bit drunk. There is quite a lot of drinking, isn't there? That genuinely goes on during <laughs> Celebrity yeah, Juice. Yeah. That's how we, there you are. That's how we get guests to do what we want them to do. We just plow, ply them with booze. And you forget you're on telly. It turns into like a party. It's like, because we've got no audience at the moment, it's like a lock in. Do you know what? It's, it, it, I definitely think the days when I did Celebrity Juice before I became teetotal were a lot more relaxed <laughs> since, since I stopped drinking. Because you sort of need half well, a glass of something to get up to some of the antics. Be. What's and that? spin around it. 
Next next time you come on Celebrity Juice, get a broomstick handle, spin around it, and then sit there. You'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> like yes. you knew her. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much, Keith. Thank you very much. On, on, a, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a slightly serious note, I wanted to talk to you about you've had your vaccine, which is great news, Keith. And I know you've got lots of fans and lots of younger people who watch you. And, you know, we're going through that phase. We need to encourage young people to have the vaccine. How was it when you, when you went and got your jab? Yeah, I have the vaccine and, and then I did 9.15 in the morning and 8 in the evening. It came over me like I was a zombie. And it really quickly, ah, I'm dying, put Ferris Bueller or Gremlins on, please, and get me some toast. <laughs> and, um, and then I woke up next morning, I was fine. Yeah. And now I feel like a human. Yeah, absolutely. It, I think it does, it does feel like it gives you a superpower, doesn't it? Yeah. But don't, make sure you ain't got work the next day. No. <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely try, right. Try and, it, try and have it on a Friday. And make sure you go for your second dose as well. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Keith, yeah. thank you very much. We look forward to Celebrity Juice this Thursday night, ICV2, 10 o'clock, and uh, I'm sure there'll be more serious to come. I mean, it's just on Get the Get on, yeah. Keith. Yeah. Right, we'll talk about it. I'm not, doing the, I'm not doing the nipples thing. Never mind me with the broom <laughs> handle. <laughs> I'm not doing the nipples <laughs> thing, mate. Yeah. Um, all right, thank you very much. Keith Lemon, absolutely fantastic. Thanks for joining us.